Hello, and happy Pride. At History IT, we love hidden histories. These are the stories that are buried away and not unearthed until years later. And while we love finding and sharing these hidden histories, I don't often like that they're hidden. Because so often, it's the marginalized voices in our past that are silenced. As a teenager, I looked for queer history in order to help me understand and shape my own identity. I looked for role models of people who were like me. And they weren't, they weren't always easy to find. I think it's a big part of why I work to save history today. So since it's Pride Month, I thought I'd share with you one of my favorite figures from U.S. history, Jane Addams. Jane Addams was the first American woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. In her time, she was a household name. She co-founded Hull House in Chicago, which was part of uh, the settlement movement, which was a social reform movement that essentially worked to connect the rich with the poor. She was on the founding boards of the NAACP and the ACLU. She wrote 10 books, and she was the founding president of the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. Jane Addams never married, but over the course of her life, she had two long-term relationships, one after the other. Both were with women. Now, Jane Addams' long-term partnerships uh, with these two women is less hidden now than it used to be. But what about those two women? Ellen Gates Starr and Mary Rose Smith were the women behind the great woman. So Jane Addams was wealthy, she was white, she was famous, she had staff. These are all elements that contributed to, that allowed her to do the great work that she did. And she also, in effect, had a wife. Now, to what extent was her life, her career, her work, her legacy shaped by that fact? There are so many questions to explore uh, as we look to the past to understand today. So thanks for learning a little bit about Jane Addams, one of the many, many fascinating histories from the LGBT plus community. Happy Pride.